but please come you had an issue your friend had an issue with the husband and you were called and you were trying to your friend said talk to my husband because he listens to you but as we speak now you are married to the man your friend is out of the house you are in the house I'm, I'm, I'm seeing your house as I'm talking now it's a cream colored duplex you've got um, um, black leather city black leather city you've got six pots so if you waste my time I, you are putting on a red top if I come to you seated Sit down. Are you here for people? Are you here for <laughs> Lagos? <laughs> Some people are looking for where to wear on the. They are now suspecting everybody with red top. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But how many of you know when God speaks about someone is to help you? So sometimes it might not be the normal thing you want to hear. It might just we, we hear, in our ministry we hear strange things. The kind of prophecies we hear are things that look strange. I was preaching in church one day. I said, There's a young man, you went, you did an exam and dropped your script, you submitted your script in the hall. But as soon as you got back home, you saw your script under your pillow. If you, if you watch my program on TV, you may have seen that case. I say, the young man ran out. He says, the one. I say, okay. Since Satan is now stupid, let's beat him in, in his own game. I say, go back, drop your script under the pillow. It will go back to where you submitted it. When the guy was through this exam, he had A in that course. And since Satan wants to perform, let's let him know we know the supernatural. What the devil does is the spectacular, but God does the supernatural. Because the supernatural is connected to a life of purity. But anybody can do the spectacular. But the supernatural is connected to a pure life. Sister, I will say this for the last time. Come out. Hallelujah. Wave your hands and say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh. Tell five people this night God will locate me. Oh. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Watch this. Now, God is doing great things in our ministry. Omega Fire Ministries. We are in about 23 nations. And we are eight years old. We are eight years old. We are in 23 nations. Relevantly. We are not yet there in corners. We are there relevantly. And um, I think we have four, four chapters in Lagos, right? I don't know. In Lagos, five. What's that? Is that a flyer? Okay, let me see if we could get... Do you have lots of it here? Bible to the book of Genesis 29. I want to do this very fast. So right where you are standing, break your Bible to Genesis 29. Genesis 29. We'll read verse 31 through 34. Let him stay, please. Sir, so when I feel an anointing for you, I will lay hands on you. Because I need you to carry something you will never recover from. You need to carry a grace you will never recover from. There are people that go to programs to attend. But there are people that go to programs to be programmed. So that's what we came here to do. If there's no evidence in Christianity, then let everybody go to play. But we are serving God because we have seen proofs. Hallelujah. Genesis 29 from verse 31 to 34. Brother, bro, you can be free. Do what you want to do. Move around. Okay? But when I feel an anointing for you, I'll call you forth. Alright? You might not understand why, but I just feel 
I will do what God has put in my heart. So if you prefer to stand there, it's better. Anywhere. Genesis 29 from verse 31. And when the Lord saw that Lee was hated, he opened the womb. But Rachel was barren, and Lee conceived and bare a son, and she called his name Reuben. For she said, Surely the Lord had looked upon my affliction, now therefore my husband will love me. She conceived again and bare a son, and said, Because the Lord had heard that I was hated, he had therefore given me this son also, and she called his name Simeon. She conceived again and bare a son and said, Now this time will my husband be joined to me because I have born him three sons. And therefore was his name called Levi. Hold your place there and open your Bible to Psalm 102 verse 13. Hold your place there. Open to Psalm 102 and verse 13. Verse number 13. Mighty God, I love you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But thou, O oh Lord, shall one o oh two verse thirteen. But thou, O oh Lord, shall arise and have what mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. Somebody say, My set time has come. Say it again, my set time has come. Let me begin by saying that the end of the day is not the end of the story. That a vehicle breakdown does not mean the journey has ended. Am I speaking to somebody? Even when you get to what you call the end, there is a bend. It doesn't matter how long you have been in captivity. Situations have beaten you hands down. Circumstances tell you to surrender. Life has become a palace of disease. A schedule of failure. Exercise is rot in futility. You sit down in your house. Despite your toiling. You don't know where the next meal is going to come from. All your helpers have turned their backs on you. I came with a prophetic word. Over somebody's life. That your time has come. Your set time has come. No power can stop it. No spell can stop it. No enchantment can stop it. Lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Have you not heard? Have you not known? That the everlasting God, the creator of the hands of the earth, neither fainted nor is he weary. For there's no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. The young man may fall and the youth may fail. But they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not go weary. They shall walk. Sit down. The place we read from. Jacob wanted to get married. He loved a lady called Rachel. And he labored for seven years to get a wife. Those of you who think that the Igbos charge too much for wives, whenever you see Jacob, ask him what he went through. <laughs> seven years to marry a woman. And the night he was to get a reward for his toiling. They brought the sister of that lady, not the lady. And Jacob asked, what is this? We live in a generation where people get what they don't deserve and they close their mouth. Life will not give you what you deserve. Life gives you what you demand. What is this? You are supposed to be more than this level. A young man wrote an exam. It was a work exam. When the results came, he had 8 F9. Ambassador, he wrote again, 8 F9. Seven consecutive exams, 8 F9 each. So the eighth time, he said, I'm not going to write again. Maybe God doesn't want me to go to school. When it was time for result, they sent him result F9. For an exam, he did not write. That was when the guy reacted. See, others agree. I agree that I feel. This one? Mm -mm. 
Something is wrong. By prophecy, it was discovered that the father had two wives. And the two wives vowed he would never go to school. Anytime he writes an exam in the coven, they change the result. And when it was spoken to him, and God said from the compound, they change into spiritual antibodies by 12.30 a.m. and they go to the coven. The young man said, sir, is that what you saw? It's okay. Two of them, Abi. Eh, no, wala. We'll, we'll kill ourselves now. He went to the market and bought a knife. And sat down the middle of the compound by 12. And began to stab the ground. No witch will fly in this house today. <laughs> he did that from 12 till 4 a.m. I call that all night stabbing. <laughs> by 5, the elder's wife woke up. The younger one woke up. And the younger one asked the elder one, You go last night. The other one said, I no go. He said, you lucky. I wish that knife meet you. <laughs> the young man had them. He came out. He said, look at the knife. So what that pastor said is true. He said, see, see the knife. I want to go and enroll now. If I fail. He enrolled. He wrote the exam. The result came. He had six A's and two credits. Ask somebody, what is this? People walk into your life for marriage and they walk out. What is this? How can you be close to a wedding that never materialized? What is this? How can people pro promise you things and never fulfill it? What is this? How can you submit a proposal and that proposal is not attended to? What is this? How can you go for a visa ten times and you are bounced off? What is this? You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. God. He is the same yesterday. Yeah. He is the same today. Yeah. He is the same forever. Yeah. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Favor is on your side. God is on your side. Look the way shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Osea chapter 9. Man of God, Osea chapter 9 verse 7 says, the spiritual man is a madman. For you to survive on planet earth, you need a little level of positive insanity. Rascality, brutality, velocity, terrosity. You need to come to a level of aggressivity. A level of, of some uncommon temerity. When you look at demons face to face, am I speaking to somebody right now? In this world of wickedness, it's abnormal to be normal. When God says spiritual man is a madman, it doesn't mean you need to be demented. It means you must get some attributes of, of a madman. The first thing I like about the madman is that the madman is the owner of the area. He does not, he does not pay rent, but he must sleep. If the madman if enters your apartment, you need special arrangement to eject him. Have a mindset that you own the area for the earth is the Lord ay, 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 ay. and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwells therein. Tell somebody I'm in charge. I told them in church on Sunday, God is in control, but He put me in charge. Am I speaking? The madman owns the area. Take your seat. If a madman is coming and you are coming, he's not the one to clear, it's you. When he's coming, you give, you give chance. That's if you love your life. Because when the madman deals with you, there is no court case. <laughs> he has no case to answer. 
He has a locust stand to oppress you, and the locust stand is his sanity. There's no penal code, there's no judgment for a madman. The madman owns the area. The second thing I like about the madman, the madman has no savings, but he's never hungry. The madman has no bank account, but anything must flow. The madman must eat. The third thing about the madman is the madman is always busy. Why are you there idle doing nothing? The madman is busy. It is not carrying wood. He's carrying something. He's putting something on his head. He's gathering calm. He's a busy man. He has many jobs, different businesses. The fourth thing about the madman, the madman is not ashamed. Very bold. No shame. Anytime you you I, I share something in church. When any when Peter denied Jesus, the f, each denier 1000 souls we are lost. When he denied Jesus and they looked at him, the other tell the other one, the other one tell the other one, oh, and over a thousand souls if, if he says he doesn't know him, what are we doing making up our mind for him? He denied him thrice. So 3000 we are lost. Those are the 3000 he got back on the day of Pentecost. He denied the madman is not ashamed. Stop hiding your Bible. Declare it. Declare who you believe. Am I speaking to somebody? Sometimes I'm flying out of the country. I sit down and I see some men walk to the business class. They say, I'm reading my Bible. They say, Are you one of those born again? I say, I'm not one of those. I'm a born again Christian, a minister of God, tongue talking, demon destroying. Don't hide it. Declare. Am I speaking to somebody now? Declare what you believe. Then what when you eat a food that is rotten, you grow, you develop disease. The madman eats it and is normal. You know why? Mindset. You see it as rotten as far as the madman is concerned. It's a meal. The things, the things you think will kill you because of your thought, they affect you. I was preaching in a town and uh, someone came it's a, a, a local local meeting and someone knocked the door and i ran to open and as soon as i opened the door she splashed liquid on my face and i i was like who is this who is this i moved and got a towel and i began to wipe my face i dropped the towel on the bed the towel consumed the foam was eating up concentrated acid but a person who believes acid will affect him, it will affect. But there is someone that knows I am untouchable. A man like me cannot take my life. Whether it's through gun or through charms, I am untouchable. Whether it's through a spell, I am untouchable. The place you read from, lift your hands and tell somebody your time has come. Your time has come. My God, my God, my God, my God. Say your time has come. The place you went from, sit down. The Bible said, Because Lee was not loved, Lee gave birth to a child. The child was called Reuben. Was called what? And Reuben means see me. See me. My husband, I'm here. You act like I don't exist. See me. Identity. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason people are stranded in destiny is because darkness has covered them. Nobody sees them. When they think of who to help, they can't remember them because they are covered. They are blanked out. When they finish giving assistance, that is why you go to offices and you say, give me this. They say, oh, I wish you came yesterday. Why? Darkness. 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 John chapter 8 and verse 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whosoever followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but he shall have the light of life. First John 1 verse 5. He said, God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. As he says in John chapter 1 and verse 4. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. Genesis 1 verse 3. Let there be darkness. Darkness. Many ministries are covered with darkness. And that is why nobody comes there. People drive past. Even when you have the solution to their problem, they don't think of coming in because darkness had covered the signpost. That 
darkness had covered the whole cathedral darkness had covered the whole church there are young ladies who are pretty they look beautiful they look so good they are character sound but no man talks about marriage because they are covered up with darkness there are people who have business ventures they opened offices they are paying rent without making profit why because darkness has covered those shop let there be light let light shine in the midst of darkness let light shine over the darkness of your life let light shine over the darkness of your home somebody shall let there be light let there be light i rebuke darkness that has covered your marriage that has covered your business that has covered your health somebody shall let there be light can i shock you to sit down the greatest footballers are not the jj or coaches they are not the taribo west or taribo east or taribo not the greatest footballers are not the david beckhams some of the greatest football what's this place called is it oregon some of the oregon some of the greatest footballers can even be around oregon but darkness cover them am i speaking to somebody a great man of god who is a popular preacher his church was not growing so he embarked on a hundred days fast on the 99th day he saw darkness covering his church and he commanded it to be lifted the sunday service 66 people came for the first time so one of the ushers asked them and said we are not doing special program what's going on and one of the men that were asked said since you people decided to turn your church from white garment to pentecostal that's why we came the man said our church is not white garment we have been pentecostal what happened satan covered the church and gave it another identity that's what darkness does darkness gives a wrong picture a wrong identity that is why a man can have a beautiful wife is not interested and he goes after a girl when you stand up the girl and stand up the wife the ratio is so abnormal why because the lady is covered with darkness darkness brings extinction darkness sends a man to oblivion darkness makes you not located even if you are located it's a wrong identity am i speaking to somebody in exodus chapter 10 from verse 22 the bible said god said to moses stretch your hand that there may be darkness over the land he said the darkness that can be felt 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 you know what that means not darkness that can be seen but felt there are people who are going through captivity they don't know what is wrong but they feel something is wrong they can't place their fingers on it but they feel the darkness they feel it see i don't know what it is but i know something is chasing me something is after me something is chasing me i know a man who shouted he said job job in the bible where are you let us see because job i want to tell you that i've suffered more than you job where are you he could feel it that something darkness he said see me reuben see me show forth identity without an identity you are a non-entity your picture determines your future without a picture you can't feature without a picture you are captured without a picture you are like a sculpture without a picture you will rupture without a picture you have no future your picture is your tomorrow see me someone is about to emerge <laughs> someone is about to appear someone is about to appear someone is about to appear a brother approached a sister for marriage say sister i love you i want to marry you. that's a proper way that, that is, I, I dream i see young man came to me say wants to marry a lady i said how do you know she's your wife he said i dream i said leave my office go and wake up <laughs> he said i want to marry you and the brother that was talking if you see his shoe that was the kind of shoe moses was wearing and god said pull off your shoe pull off your shoe <laughs> the belt was like the belt was like a suicide rope 
his sleeve, his long sleeve had no covenant with pressing iron. The tie was like a snake. You know those kind of tie you wear, you cannot pass a bush path. Because if you pass bush path, other snakes will be pursuing you. You say, what have I done? Say, see my brother for your neck. <laughs> and, and, and he told the, the sister, I want to marry you. The sister went backwards. Look at him, head through toes, toes through head. Ah! The sister went on her knees. She lifted her hand. Eli, 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 la masha batane. My God, my God, my God. Why has thou forsaken me? He said, brother. He said, brother. Just go. I have no answer. Because if I open this my mouth to answer you. For three weeks, you will not, you will not eat. Just go, go. I have no answer for you. The brother said, ah, things will get better. He said, I said, go. Let things get better for you. Go. The brother looked at himself. After a few weeks, he met another sister. And he told the sister, he said, I would like to get married to you. The sister said, you, have you prayed? Give me time to pray. She prayed. She had a conviction. He said, I know you have nothing now, but I believe things will work out. They started. Six months later, he got a job. About another six months, God blessed him with a car. He got an apartment a year later, his own house. And he sat down with this sister, the one that agreed. They were planning their wedding. They sat in this car. The other sister was just coming. You know the other, Eli Eli, the other sister. And say, bro, I want to see you. The brother said, what is it? He said, please, sister, excuse us. I want to see you. The brother came out. And Eli Eli said, <laughs> she said, hold on. She said, brother, do you know you are not a man? You came to me because I said no only once. You didn't bother to call me again. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. There was our mouth saving laughter. Lift up your eyes and shout hallelujah. Your light must shine. Your light must shine. Your generation will see your light. I said that we see your light. I said that we see your light. Look up your eyes and shout hallelujah. Sit down. I refuse to be ignored. I refuse to be ignored. I go for any interview, I'll be number one. I'll be accepted. Even if 50 people pursue a job, I will get it. Even if 50 people go for it, I will be number one. Amen. Even if they drop the CDs of 100 people, mine will come out first. Amen. If they are thinking of Uto favor, I will be the first person. Amen. If they are thinking of a wedding, I'm, I'm number one. Amen. My God, no more darkness in your life. Amen. I said no more darkness in your family. Amen. No more darkness in your job. Amen. Look the way, Shari. Yes. Yes. Somebody shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shot fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at what shot me, yeah.
she gave birth to another one and she called that one Simeon huh? Simeon is it in your bible like that Simeon means hear me if you don't see me at least what the reason Satan takes people's life before their time is because he doesn't want their voice to be heard to come from a poor family is destiny there's nothing to do about it but to die leaving your family poor is an error to come from a poor family is destiny but to die leaving your family poor is an error hear me in Matthew chapter 14 from verse 6 the Bible says a man called John the Baptist you know John the Baptist he had a double portion of the spirit of Elijah a double portion double fold Elijah, come, Elijah was a man that opened the heavens and locked it at will there shall be no meal but according to my word goodbye God bless you lock the heavens lock the earth and put the key in his pocket they call him Elijah the tish bite. You touch him, he bites you. He came with a ferocious and volatile, brutal unction. We live in a generation where the world is tired of normal things. The world is tired of normal things. We are, we are, we are in the season of evidence. We are in the season of proofs. John the Baptist had a double portion of that unction. But in Matthew 14 from verse 6, the Bible says, On a particular day, the daughter of Herodias danced. Herod's stepdaughter danced. And the king said, anything you ask for, I'll give you. And the girl said, I want the head of John the Baptist. And the general dropped his head. And they chopped it. A general, a man who had heaven's backing. That's what happens to a lot of people. A brand new vehicle that cannot move is useless. A loaded Christian that does not manifest is a wasted material. You can't die like John the Baptist. I told myself my head will not be cut off. Nobody will use my head for celebration. Brought it on a charger. A generous head. Do not play with what you are supposed to fight with. Do not cancel what you are supposed to cancel. Do not pamper what you should hammer. Am I speaking here? Know your right and your destiny. And there is no life too corrupted that can be corrected. No life too disrupted that can be constructed. No life too impaired that can be repaired. No life too scattered that can be gathered. Life may have beaten you hands down. But God is saying, if anyone is standing to see that your voice will not be heard, fire is about to settle it. Amen. Watch Amen. In First Chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 The Bible says a young man called Jabez His mother called his name Jabez Said I gave birth to him in sorrow Now watch this, watch this He said Jabez was more honorable than his brethren But he was in captivity Now what does that tell you? Jabez, when you look at him physically His structure depicts honor How do I explain this? How many of you know there are people If you tell them you don't have money They don't believe you because you look monificated. You look. <laughs> you look monified. <laughs> you look like. Not just look like. You look like new money. <laughs> so you say, I don't have. They say, oh, You don't want to help me. Go. That's what it means. Jabez was like that. If Jabez enters anywhere, he stands out. But he was in captivity. Enters, and then look at people. These days, do you know people. Even beautiful people don't, don't get married anymore. It's the truth. With all the makeup, nothing is happening. You know, women make up so they can meet up because of hold up. <laughs> Forgive me, oh. most women, most women, not all, most women, most women. Most women. A woman of beauty without duty is guilty. <laughs> Make up, you know, you know, when, when, when my mom, can I, mommy, can I get your bag? When my mom gave birth to me, she used to carry her bag like this. This is how she carries her bag. 
That's when she gave birth to me. Eh? But these days, every woman has a stroke. You, you, when you stand, I've seen there are daughters I have had to s- s- slap as a stand where they never, st- they are standing like this or they are sta- stand straight no, papa you don't understand though we, are, we have to advertise this thing what are you advertising stand straight yes no man is coming And you see, you see life with all the effort. There are men and women in marriage today. Their marriage is not working because Satan does not want their voice to be heard. So he put crack in the marriage. I've seen husband and wives the same house. Yet they don't talk to themselves. The woman drops the food on the table, leaves the dining. The man comes, eats the food, walks away. The woman comes back, clears the plate leaves a note on the table we need money for food in the house the man comes back reads it drops money and puts something on top the woman comes back she's angry it is not enough the, is that not communication already what's wrong with two of you <laughs> are you not communicating already satan wants problem in the home and you must understand something marriage is a function of strategy every man that wants to enjoy a good home can i give you just few tips number one every woman likes to talk there is no quiet woman just give her an interesting topic whoever talks to a woman gets her attention since adam was not available to talk to eve satan spoke to eve and got the attention women love communication they love attention number one number two every woman loves appreciation when a lady makes her hair she will walk past you 20 times if i should come close to you like she, uh, this ground this ground this all she wants is for you to say you are beautiful some men can never talk they won't talk you see men their wife will prepare meals they will eat the meats and lick them and thank you jesus was it jesus that cooked the food <laughs> strategy appreciation every lady loves it every woman loves to be appreciated strategy every woman also loves to be protected you know i see some men they will call them to they, they have little problems with their wife they'll call their family is that my father i'm not married again you're not ashamed oh what a shame they will now gather your wife will now stand and the middle your wife now watch this if i drop this on the ground it becomes a rag now i'm lifting it up it's precious wherever you put a woman that's what the world will see her to be in this ministry people know one of the easiest way to leave offend my wife you are gone you have practically expelled yourself from the church speak against me no problem i i enjoy it Just say one thing. Somebody will kill you, another will bury you, and someone else will be doing praise and worship on your dead body. Why? If you get her, you've gotten me. So if you carry your wife, and, and that's why I love the evil man. The evil man will put on bomb shot and opus, but the wife is heavily, heavily loaded. Real evil man, real one the real one what has happened to you there are people the enemy doesn't want their voice to be heard so have you discovered there are some people the way they behave is not normal everything about them is not normal you look the husband look the wife look the children you see everybody have the same problem 
the wife would, would dress like Ngbeke. The man would dress like village headmaster. And the children they are following the children are following them like civil servants. That's how they are going. <laughs> you look at all of them. You just know that something 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 is not right here. Am I speaking here? Who is preventing? Oh, I spoke about men. Now, let me talk about men. Women, if you want to hear it. How to handle men. Every man has an ego. If you step on that ego, you are in trouble. We live in a generation where of what they call women empowerment. Listen to me. Women empowerment does not deny submission. I told them in America, I said, kneel down to serve your husband meal. They said, what? Men of God, that's not our culture. I said, okay, divorce will be your culture. <laughs> kneel down for him. This is your arrogance of 21st century is why you cannot be under a man. Kneel down. Forget your status. Kneel down. Humble yourself. A lady came to my office. She was bouncing. She was bouncing. So I saw her. I said, hey, what is it now? Are you free? I want to talk to you. I said, yeah. This is serious. Though. I said, calm down. Sit down. I said, I want to report your son to you. Warn my husband. I said, easy, easy, easy. He said, okay, sir. I said, have you been bouncing like this before your husband? Because even me now, I'm scared. Sit down. We started talking. I said, all this you have mentioned is nothing. Get back home. Go on your knees and say, I'm sorry. He said, what? A me testy mama. Kneel down for man. I can't kneel down for man. I can only kneel down for my Lord Jesus Christ. I said, Jesus, you can't see. Go and kneel down for your husband. So when she got back home, watch this. When she got back home, the man had losing his belt. He was waiting. As soon as she got home, she just went on her knees. Bam. The man ran. Because it was not normal. <laughs> The guy took off. So, so the man, the man got to the door. You want to pick something, Abi? You want? He said, "I'm sorry." The man shocked. Emery is apologizing. Jezebel's younger sister, man made is apologizing. The man said, "What did you say?" He said, "I'm sorry." Eh? His belt fell. So the man did not go close. He stood far. Because that apology had many connotations. So the man stayed very far. He said, this woman has a plan. <laughs> Say, forgive me all I've done. Hey, that was the end though. That was the end. Submission. You cannot keep a home without submission. You are a wife, not your husband's elder sister. You are not the elder sister. You are the wife. <laughs> the man, he had an elder sister before and he did not enjoy that one. Don't start your own. <laughs> Are you following me about from your voice? And he gave she gave birth to the third child, and they called the third child Levi. And Levi means join me. Somebody shout helper. This is where I want to preach now. Shout helper. Everyone under the sound of my voice. You read all your helpers are. I will list them to you today. Wherever your helpers are in the north, the east, the west, the south, I release your helpers to you. Somebody say, Helper, come, Helper, come, Helper, come, Helper, come, Helper, come. Even Jesus, even Jesus needed Simon to help him carry the cross. He needed help. He needed the Simon to help him. You can't transverse life without help. You can't go through this world without a helping hand. 
where God wants to take you to is too massive, it's too colossal for you to go solo. You need a helping hand. You need to, 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 be, to be lifted from that pit. You need to be carried from where you are. You need a helping hand. You need a helping hand. You need, I see God releasing helpers. Coming to people's lives. Amen. Coming to people's destinies. Amen. I see help us coming. 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Some years ago. Some what? Say that again. Some what? Some what? Hear this testimony before we pray. A man, sit down, sir. A man started a company. And that company, the man gave his elder brother some money. And the elder brother got angry and said, I don't want money. I want to work in your company. The man said, but you didn't go to school. He said, even if I went to school or not, I'm your elder brother. I want to work there. So the brother said, since you are not learned, I'll give you the security session. You will stand by the gate. You have your office. All the security points, they will all report to you when they have emergencies. The brother said, the brother said you want to make me gate man? He said, no, you are the head of security. It doesn't matter what you call it. Gate man is gate man. No problem. When everybody left, he went to the personnel department and buried a charm. Anybody that gets to work and head that department will only last for two weeks and die. In the space of within three months, they lost four people. So they shut down that section of the company. After about two years, they discovered they could not do without the personnel department. They reopened it. And a Christian brother saw the advert. He went there. When he saw the secretary, he said, can I, can I see your boss? I saw an advert there. And the lady asked, is it for the personnel department? He said, yes. The lady said, ah, oh, hey, yeah. The man said, what's the problem? He said, nothing, sir. Sorry, sir, are you married? The man said, yes, with kids. Oh! The lady said, the man said, what's the problem? He said, nothing, please. My boss is upstairs. Go straight like this. You will see the boss. When they got there, saw the boss. And the boss looked at him and said, you, you, you have applied? He said, yes. He said, can you do the job? He said, I don't understand. Is it not a job? He said, you don't understand. Can you do the job? He said, I can do the job. He said, no problem. Resume tomorrow. Ah, is that all? Resume tomorrow. Sure, you can do it. Resume tomorrow. The next day, they open the office, he sits down, speaks in tongues for a while. I pity you if you don't speak in tongues. I pity you if you don't speak in tongues. The kind of tongues you speak determines the kind of angels you attract. Not just speaking in tongues, speaking in another tongues. Your tongues determines your angels. There are angels that eat spaghetti, very lazy, they can't fly. I said they're fat. Big stomach. <laughs> so, well, your, your tongue, yeah, back, yeah, back. You know. Kiro Mosondorobo, Kiro, 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 Kiro Mosondorobo, Kiro, Kiro. When I hear people speak in tongues, I wonder. Kiro Mosondorobo, Kiro, Kiro, Sondorobo, Kiro, Sondorobo, Kiro, Sondorobo. Tamata, 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 Atayota, Tamata, Atayota, Tamata, your bow tie, my tie, your tie. You might... And, 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 and the brother spoke in tongues. The next day, the same thing that killed other people appeared. How did it appear? The wall. What do you call wall in Yoruba? What? Ogiri. Whatever. <laughs> the wall was talking. So the brother put his ear and began to hear, In Donda, you will soon die. In Donda, you will soon die. So he touched himself. If he was sleeping or awake, he don't die. You will soon die. The brother went back on, moved the chair, faced the wall. He don't die. You will soon die. So the brother remembered that during lunch, people were discussing in hoosh tones that the wall was talking 
the experience others that died had then their neck they were choking and they died he put his ear again in thunder he will soon die he looked around in thunder you will soon die the brother went backward and faced the wall he said matthew 18 18 whatever i bind on earth shall be bound in heaven the volume increase in donda you will soon die in donda the brother said isaiah 54 17 no weapon formed against me shall prosper but every tongue that rise up in judgment i condemn you. this time all the workers had stood by the door they were looking at the man looking at the wall it was drama after tonight in your family there shall be drama and the voice increased in Donda, you will soon die the brother said proverbs 18 10 the name of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it and they are behind you a python came out of the wall the brother said i'm not afraid because even in the garden of eden there was a snake there the brother said i take the, the sword of the spirit and i cut you to pieces Bind you. the snake will turn the elder brother of the director of the company in his office he will turn when the snake turn the man will turn the snake began to foam and died the man died can i prophesy <laughs> any champ planted to walk against you ah. it is frustrated now hey. Amen. Amen. i break that power in the name of jesus hey. i break that power in the name of jesus hey. Amen. Aha, 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 aha. Who is who is Erahuyi? Erahuyi. I hear something like Erahuyi Logad. Something like Erahuyi Logad. Erahuyi Logad. Whoever is by that name, I'd like you to come here. You have something to do. Um, where's the person? Erahuyi Logad. Huh? Huh? Erau Is that your name? Yes. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Brother, your miracle is happening next month. As a matter of fact, God wants to give you almost sugar abataya. God wants to give you a birthday miracle. August is your month. 16. Exactly. You were born August 16. Exactly, sir. Amen. Somebody will come to meet you where you are. I see you around Bariga. Yes, exactly. You live in Bariga. Exactly. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. God will give you a surprise. August is your month. Amen. And everything about you will change by fire. Amen. Amen. See me. Hear me. Join me. See me. Hear me. Join me. See me, hear me, joy. Nothing can cover you from now. Amen. You see, people submit proposals, and 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 people you are better than they are offered a job, and you don't get it because something is covering you. You see, pastors who are massively, colossally anointed, and they have empty pews. Meanwhile, some of the preachers you see on TBN, they have nothing to say. But someone is backing them or putting them on TV. And I watched a, I watched a man on TV that came to the altar with a camel. I, I was crying. Camel, camel. They were showing him on TV and he came with a camel. He said, look at this camel. This camel shows the love of God. Camel. I told my wife, change the station. Change it, change it, change it. Camel. Some would sit down, cross their leg. Nothing, nothing but someone is standing to sponsor them and you have so many dreams projects, ambitions, plan nothing some people 
all some people just need is a little push and their world will see something their generation will see something a man is coming and he's talking of Greek and Hebrew in Nigeria it's obvious what you need is just a little support a little support you see people who can sing when they take this microphone they will, they will tear it down with songs no help they have so many songs unreleased and yes, somebody is doing well. What is he singing? Damanete Guana, Damanete Guana, Damanete Guana. All they need is a little push. A little push. You will get there. Amen. Amen. I said you will get there. You will get there. Amen. You will get there. Amen. You will get there. Amen. We'll pray two prayers and after that I will ask for help. People are going to contact help us. I'm telling you. I preach a message in church. I am that I am has sent me. I preached a message years ago. Years ago first. A young man had the message. A young man had the Watch this, watch this, watch this before we pray. A young man had the message and he wanted to be a medical doctor. So he wrote jam. I think it's called 102 in jam. He wanted to read medicine. It's called 102. Eh? 97. It was 97. And he came and said, Sir, I want to read medicine. As what did you score? He said 97. I said, even with at 97, they won't take you for native doctor. <laughs> you want to be a medical doctor with 97? I said, even herbalist, they won't take you. He said, so look for something. Go and write another jam. He says, sir, but you said I am that I am. I sent me. Ah, I was ashamed of myself. I said, go, go and pursue. Of all places, he went to OAU. He stood there. He said, Lord, you see, I am that I am. I sent me. I must go to school. He was speaking to the gate and talking outside. A man was coming in a black jeep. The man brought his own son. When the man got to the gate, the man beckoned on him. He said, come. Can you show me the admin block? This was JJC. They were asking question. Show me the admin block. His response would have been, I don't know. He stood there. He said, Okay, oh if you enter now, go straight. Um, um, turn. No, don't turn. Keep going. Um, the man said, Enter the car. Hey. He entered the car. In his, in his heart, he was saying, What have I done to myself? I don't have admission. I don't know anywhere. The man said, how do we go? While he was trying to describe, another car was coming in a convoy. And the road, the path they were passing through there was very tiny. So this man in his car stopped. The oncoming vehicle stopped. Some young boys came out of that car and said, please, sir, move back. The man said, I negotiated this bend before you, so you move back. While they were arguing, somebody came out from that car. It was the VC. This man also came out from his Jeep. He looked at the VC. They started laughing. They were classmates. And he called the VC and said, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> now you be VC for you. Come here. Why? Because he was a senior to him in school. He said, you don't know So the VC said, level don't change you. <laughs> you don't be senior again. No. They were joking. Why they were joking? The VC said, what, what, what brought you to my school? The man said, I brought my two boys. Admit them. <laughs> now watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. I asked him, I said, did you tell the man you were looking for admission? He said, Papa, admission. I was looking for admin block. The Holy Ghost entered his tongue. Now, the part I like most is that when the, when the, when the letter came, this guy got his admission letter first before the man's son. You don't understand me. Helper. When helper come, protocols are broken. You say, Apostle, does it mean that guy entered school with just 97? Go to his hospital and ask him. Why? Protocols were broken. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
lift your right hand up say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus every darkness every darkness covering me covering me be lifted by fire be lifted by fire open your mouth and fire prayer in the name of jesus every darkness covering my life be lifted by fire be lifted by fire be lifted by fire be lifted by fire every darkness covering my life every darkness covering my life be lifted by fire In the name of Jesus, be lifted by fire, be lifted by fire. Every darkness of this world, every malice, be lifted by fire. So in the name of Jesus, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, my generation must hear my voice. My generation, generation must hear my voice. voice. Every power, every, every power preventing me from rising, preventing me from rising. Your assignment is terminated. Your assignment is terminated. Open your mouth and terminate the assignment. Finally lift your right hand up. Finally take this prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever my helpers are. Wherever my helpers are. As I pray now. As I pray now. Appear. Appear. Open your mouth and command them to appear. Listen, listen. In Jesus' name, please, please lift your right hand. If you are putting on glasses, take it off. You are carrying a child. Look for an alternative. As we pray, God just showed me thirty-one people. He said, "All you've needed is help." As we pray, the anointing will come on you like fire, like currents of electricity. And as the anointing touch you here, your helpers will appear. <laughs> Say, my helpers, my helpers, appear. Yeah. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yes, 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 yes. Happier, 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 happier. Wherever you are, happier. From the north, happier. From the south, lose him and let him go. Lose him. Lose him, appear, lose him, 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 lose him,
In Jesus, fire for name we pray. This is the strength of our ministry, prayers. Prayers, purity, and depth of the word of God. That's the crux of the ministry. Lift your two hands, there is time for the Holy Ghost to walk. And my soul will magnify the Lord my spirit praise his name for there to go in the It's like the name of Jesus. No other name is like the name of the Lord. No other name is like the name of Jesus. He's worthy of love.
to me just now you whispered to me you are giving help to 27 people Amen. Rep you said representing 27 families Amen. as their hands are lifted above your head wherever you are on the left on the right the front to the back lord all those you have designed to give help 27 of them right where they are from the left to the right from the front to the back God, Holy Ghost, look at them. Where are they? Look at them. 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 Take it. 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 Whatever you are. Take. 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 Anyone who has been delayed in the realm of a promotion in the office, I release you. Anyone who has been delayed in the realm of a new level, I release you hey. in the name of Jesus. Hey. Wave those hands. Thank you. Miracles. Lord. If you came here sick in your body, examine yourself if you need to do so. Hallelujah. If you came here with a sickness in your body, examine yourself if you need to do so. Thank you, Jesus. Examine yourself if you need to. There is a miracle in this house. There is miracles. My God, help me. Thank you, Lord. Examine yourself if you need to do so. Thank you. Check where that disease was. Check where that lump was. Hallelujah. Check where that affliction was. Check where the pain was. There is healing flow. Hallelujah. Power. Thank you, Lord. My God, my God, my God. My God. I give you glory. I give you glory, Thank you. Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call Manjabon, Manjabon, but on a tree you died to save you. You are the Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call you. That's what we call you. Man, Jabon, there's a born upon a tree to die to save you, man. You are the awesome ruler, awesome gentle redeemer, gentle redeemer. Does we does does we does the truth? Oh, what a friend we are! You, you are the bread of heaven, bread of send them from glory, send them from glory, man of deeds, man of deeds. You are on that a holy king of God. You are the living one. Oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, 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 Man of God, I want to hand over my life to Jesus. I looked at my life all through this program and I discovered I just need Jesus. I've lived a life that God is not happy with and I want to turn a new leaf. I want to hand over my life totally to the Lord. I want to be born again. If you're in that category, can you raise your right hand up? I want to pray for you. Raise your right hand up. You want to hand over your life totally, totally, totally. Totally is important. You might be a president, you might be a senator, you might be a governor. It means nothing. If you don't know Jesus, you will not see the need to be on God's side. If you're in that category, leave your seat all over and come here. Come to the front. Come to the front. Leave your seat. Clap your hands as they come. Clap your hands as they come. Come, 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 come. Those of you hands are raised up. Come, come, come. Stand up, 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 stand up. Come on, come on. Calling. 
Don't you have Holy Ocean has come home. Sing it again. Come home. Come home. You are weary by and sweet and dully. Jesus is calling. Nobody goes home. Don't step out. Those that don't share the grace, share this grace. You will never share this grace. Oh, Shas, I'm still waiting for you. Share this thing like someone with liver. Do that first. Please, past, I don't know if pastors can come and take the forms and help us pass them around. Don't go home with those forms. Fill them. We need to get your details. And don't forget, 4 p.m. on Sunday, be at the island. Come with your anointing oil. You have to be at Ikoi 4 p.m. exactly. Find your way there. Number 10, Ikoya Avenue of Matheson. Please, if you have the, the card already, make sure you inform someone who lives on the island. That's a word we had from God. We didn't make up in our minds.